brothers welcome back to territorial.io we're starting off today here in 105 player free for all battle here in caucasia full sending is not allowed now when you get above 100 obviously you cannot pick your location so we were assigned this location um what is our goal from here obviously to expand where do we expand i think we have to go down south and i think we have to be a little bit aggressive in order to do that otherwise we're gonna get cut off uh from by our players to the south and just be really stuck from here so uh that is gonna be our plan here i might start full sending now can i yeah let's just do it now uh i was about to say can i hold off no i don't think i can i think the zzz guy would have cut me off and that would have been the end of me right there so i'm glad i did that now we'll just continue to keep attacking here now i do have a slightly new strategy for attacking the bots obviously you want to attack them when they're very uh low on troops like zero or one but it's also really great to hit a bot while they're um being attacked because you also get a little bit of you know they're the most likely to next then attack and your attack to kind of do the most damage so i've really enjoyed that although i'm not really getting too many opportunities to showcase that here right here right now just based off <laughs> the uh, limited availability of all the bots that we have to work with but that's okay as we do manage to get a crown we sneak that in here really quickly and now we just kind of hold the line here and look for good development i obviously see that we have some weak players below us but i don't really want to push into that quite yet no need to really open myself up to being the weak player right here Ooh, but now that you've been full sent on and you just full sent let's go ahead and grab that little bit of extra land that was probably the best case scenario for us although it does get zzz a little bit bigger which was something i was wasn't really keen on happening i know i'm gonna have to fight that guy eventually ottoman empire offers us a truce i know what why he wants to offer us a truce and i don't really want yeah because he wants to attack that guy i mean i kind of want it but i kind of don't want it because i don't want to fight this guy i'll take the truce for now but i don't really do i kind of want to fight him i don't know maybe we should push the advantage we'll wait we'll wait we'll just hold the line build up our troops here um tallahassee you have the crown and like no troops let's push into this let's take care of this problem right here right now yeah this is a great opportunity for us this is why we save up our troops is for a great opportunity exactly like this zzz gets involved the red player also gets involved there we go now we're starting to rock and roll with things albania yeah you go get that crown I'm gonna just sneak behind you and grab a little bit extra myself now if you have the crown that's great takes a little bit of pressure off me we're similar in troops and size well you're a little bit bigger than me but i don't know people want me to attack that guy i'm not going to uh i definitely want to attack this indian player over here he's a great target for me and there we go we actually steal the crown away because yeah oh you got attacked heavy so let's just grab your land this is kind of putting me in a situation i wasn't prepared for i was really expecting albania to hold the line a little bit it will definitely take a truce with you and uh, we are getting attacked by the Selman Empire. Okay. Um, we save, we hold, we build. We kind of hope that the crown goes away from us. We are, oh, you're a bot though. Oh, I did not want this at all. Now we have to fight the bot. Yeah. If we let the bot push us back here, granted we don't need the land, but if we let the bot push us back here, we don't get any opportunity to grab that land. And it just strengthens one of our neighbors who probably then will attack us. So I think we have to do this here. We're just going to go ahead and push into him as much as possible. And there we go. We are still getting attacked. I'm not the most concerned with it right now as we have lost the crown. Wow. Arena is very strong. Came out of nowhere and really surpassed me. I was like sitting at like a 10,000 pixel advantage there briefly. Let's grab this little bit of land over here. And yeah, we, we would much love to be in a great... I don't know about this position. Okay. Here's my concerns. Player 584 below us is going to want... Is going to get pretty big and we're gonna to have to fight him at some point by the time we fight him he is going to be rather large i don't really have any allies that i feel like i can trust so i don't the only person i think i can trust is the person to the right of me i have an alliance with so who do i attack i could attack the the scion player who's been attacking me but that's like literally the worst borders and just feeds 584 more troops that's kind of bad for me i don't really want to do that i don't really have a great target in mind right now um do you yeah let's do that yeah charge we can go into zzz yeah you charge i'll charge hopefully he full sends you and then we can kind of have at least oh yes he does wonderful okay huge so we get a bunch of land off of that we're now in third place we might even get into second place yes we do so that was a great little maneuver for us we'll definitely take a truce with you sir at least for the time being i would love to be friends with this guy i especially as he has borders on the crown so i don't think he's gonna be too active in attacking me and i think 
Caliphate might be a good one to attack, even though he does have an alliance with me just because he's weak. I see that there's two players on his borders that might want to join in and getting that lance. That is not player 584. So let's kind of hope that this is a good uh, turn of events for us and that we can kind of work together. Ooh, that hurts. That smarts player 584 has uh, attacked me or betrayed our alliance and the Scion player has also attacked me. So now I'm kind of facing a potential 3v1 here. Let's knock this guy back a little bit. Maybe see if anybody else wants to get involved in him. No. Oh, um, I was really hope player uh, 879 would be more involved. Now he starts to attack the uh, Caliphate. Oh my gosh. Where were you like two minutes ago? Okay, well, we got to do something about this 584 guy over here. Um, let's see. Oh, darn it. This guy full sent. Okay, we'll grab a little bit of extra land over here. It's not going to be a ton, but hey, it'll be a little and that will count. So we'll go ahead and grab this land. We cut off this guy. Wonderful. We didn't attack him, which is also good. So we get a little bit more land for the fight to come. Player 584 immediately attacks me as slightly unfortunate for us. Oh, Caliphate full sent. Let's grab his land as well. So um, you want a truce? Sure. What if we attack this guy together and I eliminate a problem? Now, I'm thinking that you want to use player 879 against me, but I have technically never attacked this man and he might want to be my friend. So getting this guy who's been attacking me the entire game out of here will be a lovely kind of consolation prize here. So let's go ahead and start that process. Start knocking and whittling him down. And yeah, at this point, he's too weak to full send. He full sends and it doesn't do anything. And we are right back in it now. Okay, fourth place overall. We're still stronger than 584 um you want to attack that guy absolutely not i cannot um uh, the crown still looks divided do you want a truce you okay um player 584 is going down into the player in uh what is that kind of spartish area like western greece i would say They're, those two are fighting that's fine uh i honestly think i could probably betray this ally over here not gain any extra borders but gain a little bit of extra land while they do that so i'm gonna go ahead and, and unfortunately betray this ally now, I don't think this uh, Montezuma guy is going to want to attack me because he's bordering two very strong players. He's got, you know, big issues on his mind. Let's give him the truce. And I imagine he'll accept it. He does. Wonderful. Okay. You want to go into that guy. Um, sure. Charge. You're bigger than me. So you have to go first again. That's the rules of the game. Okay. You went first. I go. And now we'll see what happens here. If we get full sense, we lose. If he full sends 584, we win. It's a, it's a 50 50 gambit we got going here. But we'll just, you know, keep up the pressure there. There's the full send against 584. Huge. Okay. Now we're in it. Now we're cooking with gas, baby. That was a great little turn of events for us. And now we are much, much stronger than 584. And 584 is like, uh, fight Arena. <laughs> like, I don't got any borders on her. No way, Siri. Uh, he's doing anything to take pressure away from him because he knows he's my next target just having attacked me which is kind of the dangers of switching sides and then getting a position like this where like i don't i have two player plays to attack a guy i have a truce with and a guy who i have a truce with who's also betrayed me i'm obviously going to attack the guy who has betrayed me so we'll be able to get this done i think pretty safely we're gonna have to isolate a 1v1 here as montezuma is going to be very worried about the borders on the players around him even though we do have the crown i think we'll be able to sneak all of player 584's land here and be able to walk away and sit pretty off of this so that's going to be rather nice for us. We're going to be able to control our borders incredibly effectively and just be able to slowly but surely take down 584. I was kind of hoping he would full send me right there, but he did not. So, oops, sorry about that. I just bumped my leg <laughs> right when I was moving the mouse. So uh, it, you, that's the little screen shake there, you know, just a little earthquake warning. Oh, Montezuma, what? No, why are you doing this? Why? Why is this happening? Don't do this brother <laughs> brother no not like this i was not expecting that at all i'm completely caught off guard what no you've got you've got normandy right there why are you fighting me you want to be friends with me truce 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 brother truce he's thinking about it which means he's probably going to attack me like you have two crowns you're about to touch borders with like the first and second i'm in third place why are you attacking me you have much bigger problems to worry about sir Especially now that I've like got 3 million more troops than you, 4 million more troops than you. So I'll give him the truce offer once again. 
And I just want to see him do something besides... I'm going to see if I can sneak an attack in here on 584. I still need to get this done regardless. I was hoping to have this done much earlier. Prior to touching the crown, my goal was to go through 584, Arena, Roma, and then have Prussia as a 1v1. But that's out of the window now. As Montezuma is attacking... Hey, that's somebody else. So we can start to work down this guy again. And that's going to work out for us. I mean, we're competitive. We're competitive. We're 30,000 troops behind or pixels behind the crown. And that will only expand as he starts to attack Arena, which is good for us. We can potentially get an alliance with Arena. Uh, Normandy is now fighting Prussia. So that's good. Oh, Montezuma's joined in on fighting Prussia as well. Okay, so now we have been given the green light. We can finish up player 584 over here and just kind of pick our target from there now. Finishing up 584 might give us the crown, which is a little bit concerning. You want a truce? I'll take it, honestly, because I don't have any alliances right now. Let's try and get a truce with Normandy as well and see what we can do in on this front. As we need to be cautious to, as to not draw the ire of Montezuma, keep our troop numbers up very high so we don't get a, a gang up opportunity, but also finish up player 584. So he is doing everything he can to kind of slow my progress down and not attacking, not full sending, anything like that. He's really just trying to sabotage me, which is exactly what I would do in this situation. It's just like, if a guy you want to lose is winning, you know, this is the best thing you can do to slow him down. He wants me to attack Montezuma. I'm going to try and get a truce with Arena, attack Montezuma, and then go from there. Because I feel like if I attacked Arena, Prussia and Montezuma would turn on me immediately. So that is kind of the thought process here. Taking out somebody who did a betray me at one point will be nice. Now, what is realistically going to happen here and why am I attacking Montezuma? Well, here's my theory crafting. You ready for this? Okay, Montezuma is going to attack me because no one else has attacked him. He's going to full send me. No, Okay, there it is. Normandy's going to get the land. He's going to block me off. Wonderful. And now I have an isolated 1v1 against Normandy. Yes, as long as the alliance with Arena holds, but he's probably not going to want to be too aggressive in attacking me because he's got Prussia to worry about. So I can get a lot of attacks in on Normandy prior to having to worry about Prussia. And Prussia might be thankful that I have uh, helped him out of a bad situation that he was probably going to lose. That's at least the theory crafting from here. So we will just save up here. I don't necessarily want to make another move. I was kind of hoping that Normandy and Prussia would continue their, their fights. But alas, they are not doing that. Oh, Prussia. I see that little boat you're sending uh, up north to Crimea. You know who owns Crimea? By the way, can we get that? No. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is about to turn into a 3v1. We got to kick this guy off immediately. Knock him down. Good. Okay, success. Mission success. Normandy has sent a boat. We got to fight. Yeah, Normandy sent a boat into us. So now we just got to fight Normandy while keeping pressure off our back and hopefully Arena stays on our side. That's kind of all we can really get going for us here. I see another boat coming up from Prussia. We'll get the stack in here. We're doing okay. We're leading by 30,000 pixels, but man, if we do not get pressure off, it's mission fail critically everywhere that we can go. Get them off. Get them off. Okay. Eh, this is my fear. I gotta. I have to use all my troops to get this done. If I don't, I lose. Okay. So we expended a lot of troops to get that done, but Prussia is now weak, and Normandy is gonna steal the crown away from me. Hey, Prussia, friends, now you are you gonna give? Okay. Hey, this is new development. Things have switched up. Normandy's now the bad guy. Corgi Circus, good guy. Everything's A-OK. -okay. Prussia actually attacks Normandy already. Okay, I thought we were going to save up a little bit, but I like this little game of cat and mouse we're playing. He's like charging to Normandy right now. I'm going to show for our friendship that I will, even though I really don't want to right now. I think he's trying to bait Normandy into a full send, potentially against me or himself but eh, you know that 50 50 chance right there arena is just kind of sitting back and waiting just be like i don't know what to do in this situation this is all kind of bad for me as normandy is getting uh, is attacking prussia hey that's very exciting we will just continue to keep attacking normandy and hoping for the best here as long as me and prussia can really do some damage against normandy i feel pretty good about my chances arena why did you full send oh my gosh no no, 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 no. Oh, now I have the crown and Prussia has a direct border on me. Ah, not good. Not good. Not good. Um, okay, Normandy's in second place. Maybe we just attack him right now. Ooh, Prussia, stay my friend, please. Let's just keep attacking this guy and hoping for the best. There's a boat. Is that boat going into me? Where did Prussia's troops go? I don't see a boat anywhere. 
Okay, Normandy's boating into me. Russia is attacking me. Okay. Yep. Uh, this is this is my nightmare. Oh no, this is not good. Okay. Well, let's just keep attacking Normandy, hoping for the best here. Both of these guys have attacked me, so it's not like I attack them and maybe we can work something out. No, no, no. I think they're both going to want to go into me. This is quite the power grab game. It's a good game. Keep in mind, everyone's playing to win. I love games like this. So what is our strategy from here? Honestly, just attacking Normandy and hoping something changes. There's not a lot we can do in this scenario. This is a losing position for us. And I'm afraid Prussia is going to come out on top. A arena full sending really kind of took me out of this one. It was uh, not good. Maybe if I can take down Normandy enough, Prussia is going to get the crown away from me. And then maybe me and Normandy can be friends. I don't know. Uh, Prussia is attacking me with a lot of and, you know, aggression because he knows he can, which is fine. Uh, we'll just keep going into Normandy for right now. Just trying to stay competitive with this one. Trying to keep our troop count up, trying to attack him when the vertical bar is filling up to kind of prevent him from getting a bonus. But he's doing the same. He's obviously a very skilled player and he's attacking for a lot. He knows he has the advantage right here with Prussia. Those two working together. It's just about who has the best advantage when I potentially full send, which is not something I'm going to do. I'm really going to see if there's any way I can win this. But it is a very, very sick, scary situation. And oof. Okay. Um... I don't like Prussia has the crown. Hold up. Um, oh, wait. Someone voted for peace. Wait. Suckers. <laughs> That's why you never vote for peace in that situation. Oh my goodness. Let's go. <laughs> the come behind victory. That was an absolutely losing situation we're able to pull that one off in the cheekiest fashion possible <laughs> they're, they're so mad but ggs to all involved and as we do start to wrap things up i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching especially if you made this far in the episode if you have made this far in the episode hey give it a thumbs up really helps out a lot if you're new around here subscribe for more i put up videos every day and a special thank you to all of my members with producer Abigail Brady, executive producers Ratsuka Robert, Miskits the Mallard, 137KQ, GL, In My Element, Jack Russell, Brock Lowry, Mason Slash Aurelius, Rob Coleman, Uther Ekana, Tomato TG, New Brex, and channel sponsor Daniel Stevens. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one.